composers, Mike here. How do you add a fade in or a fade out on an audio clip in Logic Pro X? Let me show you right now. I will also give you a bonus tip in the end of this video. So let's say you have created a really amazing cool track like this one. But then you go ahead and destroy it by recording your own vocals in a really crappy way like I did here. Okay, since I really am no singer, I actually hold one single note, which basically becomes a drone. So on top of the track it sounds like this. Alright, so it still sounds crappy, but let's say you want to add a fade in and fade out on this and let's say you think it holds for too long, you can first reduce the clip like so, let's say two bars. So how do you create the fade in and fade out? If you hover your mouse in the upper corner like this, you can simply left click and drag inwards and you can see there's the fade in and let's do it at the end as well, a fade out here. And now let's listen to this little crescendo, decrescendo kind of a thing. Alright, so it still sounds like crap, but let me show you anyway. So in the default mode, if you hover your mouse up here, it's a loop tool, which I rarely use. So I have gone into preferences, general, editing, and then you click fade to click zones. Ta -da. And now you can see if I hover my mouse, there is another icon, which is the fade tool. So now you can simply hover your mouse over the fade, see this icon, and you can move it like so. And now here's a really cool bonus tip for you, which is if you hover your mouse not at the end point here, but somewhere here in between, you can actually create a different curve for the fade, like so, as you can see, and also here. So it will sound a bit different and watch the volume meter at the same time. And of course the best solution when no audio fade helps is to simply left click and press delete. And problem solved. Please like, share and comment on this video to support my channel and I will see you in the next video my friends.